I heard you've been spending a lot of time at your auntie's house. How's the couch life? Yeah, my woman and my baby living there is hard, man. But you know, everybody can't do what you do. Really, what I do is getting played out, Dre. Where the money at? But why you gotta be so ruthless, cuz? I'll make a few changes. Where you think you're going? I'm just trying to get home. That's my son. You need to get back in the house, or I will ruin your night. Okay. I gotta talk to my moms like that. You had the chance to change the situation. Would you take it? Just hit that first beat hard, all right? You cruising down the street. All right. Cruising down the street in my 6 foot. Hey, that was dope, eh? You're listening to Compton's very own Ice Cube, Easy e and Dr. Dre. I got to tell you, you are witnessing history. People are scared of you guys. You have a unique voice. The world needs to hear it. They want N.W.A.? Let's give him in W.A. Straight out of Compton, crazy mother named Ice Cube. This is only the tip of the iceberg, gentlemen. What's going on? What do you have in that bag? Are you kidding me? You can't take that in a bus. When I'm called on, I got a saw dog. Squeeze the trigger, your body's on hard dog. Woo! Your songs glamorize gangs and drugs. Our art is a reflection of our reality. Yeah, supposed to be somewhere. These are artists. Rap is not an art. You cannot come down here and harass my clients because of what they look like. I promise you, things are gonna be different from here on out. Listen, to be honest with you, I don't know anything about hip hop, but I know that you're special. You want to be involved with this gangster life? Here we go. Speak a little truth and people lose their mind. This isn't the Crips and Bloods. This is a threat from the federal government. They're trying to tell us what we can't play. This man governed you up. Yo, Dre. What up? I got something to say. We can keep going, man. We can take over the goddamn world. Got a little dust of wind and I'm dead. Believe a memory, no one will be forgetting. So as I leave, believe I'm stopping. But when I come back, boy, I'm coming straight out of town. I don't think this trailer is as effective or as powerful as the first trailer for this film, Straight Out of Compton. And that's because they've made it seem a little bit too generic, which is weird because there's nothing generic about NWA or their story, or I think, or what I hope this film is trying to say. Uh, I wondered with the first trailer if it needed that introduction from Dr. Dre and Ice Cube. Uh, you know, the black and white filmed introduction where they showed them revisiting their old neighborhood and talking about, uh, you know, how they felt about what happened to them looking back. Uh, and it was, you know, it took you a little out of the movie. It was, uh, you know, a little bit more documentary than, you know, narrative. But I think that seeing Straight Outta Compton presented without that perspective, it shows how necessary that it actually is. Uh, because, again, this just seems more generic. You know, I think at this point we've seen this story told in a less powerful and real realistic way. I mean, this actually happened, but I think we've seen fictional accounts of similar stories so many times that, you know, you need to point out what's special and unique about this story. And I think what is special and unique is, you know, the, the freedom to express yourself, you know, freedom of voice, uh, you know, just, you know, the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Uh, and I think that, you know, how that was, you know, disrupted because people didn't like what was being said here, but what was being said was necessary. And if you wonder if this is still uh, something that should be discussed, you know, so often in the comments we'll have discussions uh, with, where someone will be like, well, I don't believe this is a problem anymore. Uh, and I think I would urge you to always make sure that you read the news and are aware of what's happening, because I can tell you two instances where this is clearly still a problem in America today. Uh, one is the Uber driver who was harassed by a police officer. He was not African American. He was uh, you know, from the Middle East or, or India, that region of the world. Uh, and that's a new kind of uh, racism that's reared its head uh, post 9-11 in this country. Uh, and so you, that was a horrible instance caught on tape where it showed, you know, while obviously most police officers are upstanding individuals, there are those that, as was said with this, and that officer, by the way, uh, that policeman had his badge, uh, you know, suspended and he was taken off the street and punished for this. Would he have been if it hadn't been on tape? Uh, you know, these are difficult questions. Uh, but, you know, uh, he, he harassed this individual and was just absolutely horrible to him. And, and, and as I was saying, made every other policeman's job harder because it creates this view of police officers. And you see this here in the trailer when that officer says, I will ruin your night for to a mother who's, you know, just worried about her son. Uh, 
Then also, I don't know if you've heard this story, but Common was supposed to give the commencement speech, uh, commencement speech in New Jersey. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if it was a, uh, it was a university, Keene University. I have the story pulled up here. And he was told that he could not give the speech because the police were not happy with the song that he'd recently done or uh, that depicted a, a cop a cop killer, you know, escaping out of the country. Now, I haven't heard Common's song. I'm not familiar with it. But uh, this is an instance where, you know, and Common, Common just won an Oscar. And he's being told he can't speak at a commencement ceremony for a university in the United States because the police aren't happy with it. And I think, you know, it's a very fine line between, you know, inciting violence and then, uh, you know, in Ferguson they have peaceful protests and then that one individual shoots some police officers and even the protesters are like, we don't condone that. We are trying to effect change in a, uh, you know, in a peaceful but yet still strong manner. And, you know, that's why I think people should see Selma. You know, this stuff's still applicable today and I feel like this movie really could have an effect and, you know, illustrate these points to the audience. But maybe, maybe, you know, Straight Outta Compton should have been a documentary. Uh, you know, maybe they should have done flashing back and forth between uh, this, the, the beginning of this group and what their lives are like today and what the world is like today and how some things have changed but some things haven't changed. So I think this is a really exciting movie. I think it's an exciting story. I think it's an exciting time to tell it. And I'm concerned that we could end up with just another generic bio uh, of music groups that we've seen uh, so often lately and just it would slip through the cracks. So those are my concerns. I'm curious, what do you think of this trailer? Do you want your Straight Outta Compton to be more of an entertainment narrative film, you know, fictional, you know, have that fictional feel, I guess? It's not fiction, obviously. Or do you want it to be more documentary-esque in its nature? And what do you think of these stories that I brought up to you? Have you heard these stories? Are you aware of what's going on uh, right now? Uh, and if you aren't, why why do you choose not to, you know, you know be a you know, knowledgeable of the situations that, that are occurring right now. Ah, it's weird, scary stuff, but, you know, I'm, just like, just like this movie is trying to say, just like NWA said, you have to speak about it, you have to talk about it so that this, you know, is not go unfixed and unnoticed. Because I mean, it can't be fixed if it's not noticed. All right, so that's my review of the second trailer for Straight Out of Compton. I'm very interested to know your thoughts on it. I look forward to discussing this trailer with you down below, and you can check out some more episodes right now. We'll